Before I explain the topic, subscribe to the channel. So you don't miss the upcoming topics of the course. And I encourage you to like and comment on this video. What is the Internet Backbone? The Internet Backbone may be defined by the principal data routes between large, strategically interconnected computer networks and core routers of the Internet. These data routes are hosted by commercial, government, academic and other high-capacity network centers, as well as the Internet exchange points and network access points, that exchange Internet traffic between the countries, continents, and across the oceans. Internet service providers, often Tier 1 networks, participate in Internet backbone, by privately negotiated interconnection agreements, primarily governed by the principle of settlement free peering. The Internet, and consequently its backbone networks, do not rely on central control or coordinating facilities, nor do they implement any global network policies. The resilience of the Internet results from its principal architectural features, most notably the idea of placing as few network state and control functions as possible, in the network elements and instead relying on the endpoints of communication, to handle most of the processing to ensure data integrity, reliability, and authentication. In addition, the high degree of redundancy of today's network links and sophisticated real-time routing protocols, provide alternate paths of communications for load balancing and congestion avoidance. The Internet backbone consists of many networks owned by numerous companies. Optical fiber trunk lines consists of many fiber cables bundled to increase capacity or bandwidth. Fiber optic communication remains the medium of choice for Internet backbone providers for several reasons. Fiber optics allow for fast data speeds and large bandwidth, they suffer relatively little attenuation, allowing them to cover long distances with few repeaters, and they are also immune to crosstalk and other forms of electromagnetic interference, which plague electrical transmission. The real-time routing protocols and redundancy built into the backbone, is also able to reroute traffic in case of a failure. The largest providers, known as Tier 1 providers, have such comprehensive networks that they do not purchase transit agreements from other providers. I hope you learned something new today. Do you agree with my explanation about this topic? Leave a like if this video helped you learn something. And write your opinion or question about this topic in the comments. I will answer every question. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow the course and continue to learn about computer networking. Don't miss the upcoming topics of the course and also other courses in the future because the videos are published daily. If you missed the previous videos, check the playlist in the description, all the previous topics will be available. In this computer networking course, we will explain several topics, from network protocols, to hardware devices, how a computer network works, and how computers can be linked to communicate and share data in a local or global network. This course is aimed for beginners, if you want to start learning about computer networking. What other subject or topic would you like to learn on this computer networking course? Or what other courses would you like to learn in this channel? Your opinion is very important, and maybe your suggestion will be made. But now, I want to know more about you. What is your job? Or, what are you studying in school? And why are you interested in learning about computer networking? Leave your answer, opinion, suggestion, or question in the comments. Now let's talk about computer networking in general. A computer network is a group of computers that use a set of common communication protocols, over digital interconnections, for the purpose of sharing resources located on the network, or provided by other network nodes. 
the nodes of a computer network may be classified as personal computers, servers, networking hardware, or general purpose hosts. They are identified by host names and network addresses. The host names serve as memorable labels for the nodes that rarely change after initial assignment, and the network addresses serve for locating and identifying the nodes by communication protocols, such as the Internet Protocol IP. Computer networks support many applications and services, such as access to the World Wide Web, digital video, digital audio, shared use of application, storage servers, printers email or messaging applications. Computer engineering is a branch of engineering that integrates several fields of computer science and electronic engineering, required to develop computer hardware and software. Computer engineers usually have training in electronic or electrical engineering, software design, and hardware integration. Computer engineers are involved in many hardware and software aspects of computing, from the design of individual microcontrollers, microprocessors, personal computers, and supercomputers, to circuit design. This field of engineering not only focuses on how computer systems themselves work, but also how they integrate into the larger picture. Usual tasks involving computer engineers include writing software and firmware for embedded microcontrollers, designing chips, designing analog sensors, designing mixed signal circuit boards, and designing operating systems. Computer engineers are also suited for robotics research, which relies heavily on using digital systems to control and monitoring electrical systems, like motors, communications, and sensors. In many institutions of higher learning, Computer engineering students are allowed to choose areas of in-depth study, in their junior and senior year, because the full knowledge used in the design and application of computers is beyond the scope of an undergraduate degree. Internet is the global system of interconnected computer networks that uses the Internet Protocol Suite TCP /IP, to communicate between networks and devices. It is a network of networks, that consists of private, public, academic, business, and government networks of, local to global scope. This networks are linked by a broad array of electronic, wireless, and optical networking technologies. The Internet carries a vast range of information resources and services, such as hypertext documents and applications of the World Wide Web electronic mail, phone communications, file sharing, and data streaming. The Internet has no single centralized governance, in either technological implementation or policies, for access and usage. Each constituent network sets its own policies. The overreaching definitions of the two principal namespaces in the Internet, the Internet Protocol Address IP address, and the Domain Name System DNS are directed by a maintainer organization, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. The technical underpinning and standardization of the core protocols is an activity of the Internet Engineering Task Force IETF, a non-profit organization of affiliated international participants, that anyone may associate with, by contributing technical expertise. Thanks for following this course. If you liked this topic, give a like to this video, and write your opinion on the comments. Or write what other topics or courses you would like to learn in this channel. Your opinion is very important, and maybe your suggestion will be made. And don't forget to subscribe, to follow the course, and continue to learn about computer networking. Don't miss the upcoming topics of the course, and also other courses in the future because the videos are published daily. If you missed the previous videos, check the playlist in the description, all the previous topics will be available. And I will see you, in the next video.